Did you invest in Lego sets in 2023 hoping to make a return? Well, in today's video, I thought we'd look at post-retirement because we are officially one month since the retirement of all of the Lego sets we're going to cover in today's video. And let's see the return on how we did. I always think it's interesting to make these videos because we talk about Lego investing so much throughout the channel. I think it would be a little bit naive to not to look back at some of the sets that retired and say, did we do good? Did we make a call out? So that's exactly what we are going to do in today's video. Now, I did make this video very similar to this two weeks ago, uh, just two weeks after retirement. And you guys absolutely love this one. It was called These Lego Sets Are Skyrocketing. I'll link it at the end of this video. But uh, I did ask if you want me to go over any sets that retired in that video, if you guys wanted me to break down any of them. And I am going to start with those just because you guys were interested in those. Um, and then we'll lead into some of the ones that I covered last video and some other ones that we also included. But again, I'm always going to reiterate it. If you want me to break down a Lego set in our next video, because we will do an after two months of retirement, let me know in the comments below which Lego sets those are, and I'll be sure to break them down. And as always, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Crystal from Stud City. Let's jump straight on into it. So the first Lego set that was requested to be broken down was Lego set 42131 and this was a lego technic set not in my specialty definitely not a set i invested in so i really had to do a little bit of digging on this one it looks like it released out in october 2nd of 2021 and retired it says october 18th 2023 but i'm assuming it retired here at the december mark of 2023 going into 2024 year of course making maybe making it inventory a little bit difficult it had a retail price of 500 dollars, and quite frankly on ebay it is it's a little bit odd, right? Like I, I see this one brand new. Oh, this was not brand new. Yeah, for parts. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Brand new. This is what I was looking at. Was 600 to 650 dollars selling from so far through the whole month of January. And I think that's pretty interesting, just because you know it's a 500 dollar Lego set, and these guys are selling it for you know 150 bucks, 100 150 bucks. Is it even worth it, right? Like you, know, when we sell on eBay, right? We always have to factor in, you know, opportunity cost. One, of course, shipping is another major thing. Considering this sold for six hundred twenty-five dollars, free shipping, um, you know, taxes, uh, all the packaging material. It's a lot, right? So for me to sell this for six hundred and twenty-five dollars, include shipping. Shipping surely thirty, forty bucks on this, and that's being extremely, extremely uh, moderate. Uh, I just can't see it being worth it like that. But if you were to sell this one locally and can score a hundred bucks, I think it would have been a decent deal. Regardless, my thoughts on this set is it is a massive set. This set is really cool. Uh, and I definitely see there's a market for it. So that was the first one. I didn't write down names who ask these, uh, but thank you for asking to see some of these sets. We have a couple more to go in here. I won't spend a whole ton of time on each one, uh, as I do want to get to some of the bulk sets that I think are like very, very interesting as well. But um, the Justifier, whoever called this one out, I forget who it was, but it was. this is a great one. This is such a good example. It retired here at the end of 2023 at a retail price of $170. Of course, if you are a loyal subscriber, wink, wink, hit that subscribe button. You probably scored this bad boy for less than 90 bucks, maybe 100 bucks, because you subscribe to Stud City. We call out Lego deals. We picked this one up for $100 probably around 90 bucks after all our cash back, maybe even 85, um, literally half off. So $170 was extremely unattractive price. Uh, we ended up getting way, 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 way cheaper. But say you picked it up at $170, did you make money on it? I think we could safe to say probably not just because uh, it is just absurdly overpriced. So uh, in today's market, it's roughly around $145 estimated. Uh, is kind of what this great website Brick Economy is calling out. On eBay, you can see it's going for $135 selling new. So just keep that in perspective. If you picked it up for, you know, the $90 that we're talking about, selling it for $135 is not, not a terrible little profit. I would I would say it's not not bad. You know, you're talking about almost a, what, 30% margin there? 30% gain in one month, four weeks? Pretty decent. So that's a decent little uh, pickup there, but again, if you're buying at retail price or even the like 135 mark, which was constantly on that rollback price, this is probably not a great uh, investment Lego set. Uh, the next one we got requested to talk about was 75339. This was actually a Lego set I missed out on. One of the few Star Wars sets I missed out on. It was the Death Star Trash Compactor Diorama. Holy mouthful. But uh, still, regardless, a really, really cool set. It looks like its going rate is around the 65 to 70 
uh, on average. So we'll call it 65 bucks, brand new. Uh, definitely seen a lot of these going for like 70 plus $10 shipping. Uh, we got a $70 one here, a $79 one, a 70 plus $10 shipping. So it kind of varies. I feel like $65 is pretty average. A uh, decent little return on this one. I think this one was quite commonly able to be priced at a, I think it was like 50 bucks, $54. It was often on rollback. So we'll call it $50 even after all our cash back and whatnot. To see this one at $65, was it worth it? Ah, that's a decent little gain on your money, right? But uh, I definitely would be holding this one a lot longer than this simple one month. But as this trajectory goes, I think these dioramas are going to make out to be great investment, especially some of these early ones. So if you got this one, especially on deals, I think you're going to be in good shape in the long run. The next one is the Dagobah Jedi Training. I think this is definitely a more popular diorama and uh, one I was really excited about. I think I only scored one copy of this for myself. If I got a second one, I'll be pretty thrilled to sell that one off just because I think this was a great investment piece. I think we were able, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I were around that $50 mark as well for this one, maybe even the $48. But Regardless, this bad boy is selling for generally around $70, calling it an average, maybe $75, because uh, there's a, quite a few of these selling for around the $80, uh, and then some over ones at like $90, but this one for me, I think is going to perform extremely well. I think it was a very desirable diorama, a very well executed diorama, and uh, the uniqueness is, is really good. So I'm really like, stoked about this one long term. Uh, I think it's a great set, and I think it's going to do fairly well, but regardless, if you were able to score it around the 55 bucks, uh, you did a little bit decent, right? You're selling more than retail price. So uh, not bad to see that one. Uh, we also had, I think this was the last, yeah, this was the last set requested. Um, someone requested 80112, uh, which actually is a brand new LEGO 2024 set. By all means, I think this set is absolutely fantastic. However, I don't think this is a great investment piece as of right now. I think this is something you buy in that, you know, Black Friday to December era, right before this one retires. Uh, but anyways, it's the Spring Festival Aus Auspicious? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct. Dragon, uh, set 80112. Uh, I believe this set retails for $90 here in the U.S. It's so strange it's selling for, you know, $120. Um, I mean, sure, people are, you know, sure, I'll take it, whatever. Uh, but this one is probably a decent little investment here at the end of the year. So I'm not going to talk too much about that one just because it's not retired. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, your guys' list. Thank you for asking those questions. If you want to see more, like I said, make sure to comment below and I'll be sure to follow up at the two month mark on the Lego sets you guys are genuinely interested in. I think it was a great list you guys comprised and I'm very blessed that you guys decided you wanted to hear me talk about those Lego sets. So thank you. Now let's talk about some of the sets that uh, we included in our last video and see where they are one month after, uh, as well as some adders. So the first one is the Lego Creator Expert, yes, not Icons, Creator Expert Bookshop, which is a modular that released in 2020 that retired here at the end of the year. For those of you who don't know, the set used to retail for $180, and it got price jacked on the dark days of Lego inflation in, uh, what was it, August of 2022. Those are known as the dark days, the war the war time. Okay, anyway, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. Uh, but anyway, say this one was $200 Lego set. Uh, it's generally around the $220 mark, making it a price increase of 10% just after one month. Now, don't let that fool you, right? If you're like, hey, Christo, just put my money in the S&P 500. You know, I'm an index fund investor. I make 7 to 10% of my money every single year. Guys, you could probably make that in a month, but just keep in mind, you're not making that 20 bucks just like the flip of a switch like selling a stock right like you have to do some work right you have to one you have to buy the set you know wrap your money in just like anything else two you'd have to be like okay i'm gonna sell this bad boy i'm gonna make 20 bucks let's do it am i selling locally am i shipping it am i putting on ebay facebook marketplace am i paying seller fees am i gonna have to pay taxes on these profits those are all things to consider and i i can't stress that enough know that before you decide to, you know, offload Lego sets. So do keep that in mind. Uh, regardless, you know, $20, 10% little gain on this one. I'm going to call it 220 just as an average going price. Um, obviously, there's one selling more, you know, 245 That's absolutely berserk. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little, little secret. I'm going to go ahead and pin this in the comment section below. Currently, you know, as the set is clearly selling for $245, $220, $230, this has got restocked on Amazon for a short, short, short time. Check this out. Standard packaging, $199. You can pick this up at retail price just because Amazon has some leftover stock. So make sure if you want one, I'm going to go ahead and link that one in the below. That's our little secret for today. Shh, only for my subscribers only. Don't tell those non-subscribers. They don't deserve it. No, I'm just kidding. I just, 
I just I, I do what I can for you to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next Lego set. It is going to be a Lego Star Wars set. Why would we not talk about Lego Star Wars? It's just a great investment theme. Anyways, it's a, going to be the Helmet Collection, a Lego theme slash collection that I'm very intrigued on, especially on the investment line, as well as just being a really, really good collector series. This one is going to be the Luke Skywalker Red 5 Helmet, brand new factory sealed. You were able to pick this one up around $48 quite commonly throughout this year, especially on clearance sales. I've seen people as low as get these things for around $30. I've seen some crazy sales like for like $15, $20. I'm not that lucky, and I know some people are. Congrats to you. For me, this was around a $40 set, I think around what I paid for like uh, the few that I have. So anyways, I'm pretty stoked at $40. We'll call it, you know, maybe $48 bucks on rollback. It retailed for, I think it was $60 retailed. Uh, regardless, it's done a little bit increase. You know, the going rate for this one seems to be around $65 selling brand new. Um, that's always reassuring, selling 50 bucks used. That that makes me feel good about myself. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, 65 bucks, it really hasn't gone too much in price. I don't think we will see this one really, really escalate until price until probably mid-summer. I think that, you know, at the five, six months range, or even three to four months, I think this one's going to really, really start elevating in price. So we're going to keep a close eye on that one. Uh, the next one that I also think is going to increase extremely well over time, of course, it's going to be a modular set. It's going to be the Lego Creator Expert Assembly Square. This one also went on stock on Amazon for its retail price of $300. If you're subscribed to the channel, you probably would have secured that if you, uh, you know, if you pay attention. But regardless, uh, <laughs> selling for $600 is absolutely crazy. Congrats to whoever sold that. I think I'd sell my extra copy for $600 uh, just because I know I can get one a little bit cheaper. But uh, that's absolutely bananas. Uh, even $270 plus $86 shipping. Crazy. Uh, $350 plus $70. I mean, these are panic selling by sellers. Panic buyers buying, right? Like $324, $230. Wow, what? I would definitely take this for $230. What the heck? Missing deals. $250 used. $400, $300 used. $300 plus $50 shipping. And the prices kind of vary all over the place. I feel like, you know, I'm going to call it like 340 maybe a little 40 bucks increase. Nothing crazy. I wouldn't say it's too great, right? Uh, not a great investment piece. And this is definitely a large Lego set, pretty hard to move. Like I said, I think that'll be an interesting one to track as the months, even years go on. Uh, the next one that we invested in was going to be the Lego Winnie the Pooh. I think this was a great set. This also went back in stock on Amazon for a very, very, very sliver of a short time. It retailed for $100. If you were like me, I think we snagged this one for $80 at the high end. If it was probably like between 70 and 80 bucks all in after tax, which was a great deal. Uh, it's generally selling for 110 to 130 is kind of what I've seen on the prices. So I guess we can call it 110, 115 bucks uh, quite commonly. Uh, brand new sealed in box, of course. It's a great little set, and uh, it doesn't surprise me to see it at the 100 115 mark, uh, just because we were able to get it on sale, you know, what, two months ago. So I'm expecting this one to hit the $150, $160 range, no questions asked. I would not see, be surprised. So really excited to see where that one goes. But for right now, it's right on track, increasing in price. The next one is one we talked about quite heavily on the channel. It's a LEGO Star Wars set. It's a Republic fighter tank. And uh, we picked up a bunch of copies of these because uh, it's just a very, in my opinion, a very, very good Lego set. Selling at cost, brand new, or not okay, brand new. Selling at cost at retail price, used, plus $10 shipping. Uh, you know, that, that really excites me. So two of these for 95 bucks, that's actually not a bad deal. Uh, 50 bucks plus $10 shipping. Uh, we have $60 brand new. You know, call it 50 bucks. Um, we were very fortunate. Target was loading us up at uh, $32 re, um, selling these on sale. Or no, $25, excuse me. So we really got to secure some of these at a really good price. So basically doubling our money already one month after. And I'm not going to even lie to you guys. I think I picked up around 20, 15 to 20 copies. Uh, it would not surprise me if we're over 20, but I'm going to be safe 15 to 20 copies of these. So, I mean, if yeah, you could do the math, 25 bucks, I would say the average price paid for each one of those is probably $28 just because I bought some in the $30 range and then bought a bunch at 25 bucks. So, you know, basically doubling your money on this one, which is bananas uh, in one month time period, which that's just crazy. I'm expecting that one to do very well. I wouldn't, I'm not selling those. And quite frankly, I don't even know if I'll ever sell those. I'll probably just build them because I really like the clone troopers inside of them. Uh, anyways, on to the next, like I said, it's going to be the PlayScale ATAT. Another one that went on a flash sale very uh, quickly on Amazon. It hasn't really gone increased in price very much. It's actually quite commonly around its retail price point, which is $170. 
it, it doesn't surprise me. It had a price increase from 160 to retail 170 uh, back in August of 2022. And uh, is just a generally long shelf-life leg shelf life Lego set. This has been on the market for quite some time. It's been a few years. Uh, so it doesn't surprise me. This one will definitely take a lot longer to kind of increase in price. But still, regardless, I think it's a great Lego set. Uh, likewise, one that's not performing as well as I thought it would be, it's the LEGO Star Wars Inquisitor Transport Scythe. Uh, for me, this is a really cool LEGO set. I really enjoy this one. I think we ended up scoring one for like 75 or 80 bucks. Uh, not too bad on the rollback price. Uh, it retails at $100. It's quite commonly at the $110 to $120 range here, selling for uh, on the aftermarket. So uh, regardless, it's definitely increased in price just a little bit. Not surprising. Uh, I think this one will really, really elevate in price if we see some of these minifigs be incorporated into another show or something like that. So that is a little bit of playing on chance, but something to keep in mind. The next one is like a Jurassic Park T-Rex Breakout 76956. This one retailed for $100. Uh, I think we found this one on the other day on sale for $70 at our Target. Pretty crazy in price, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyways, it's already at $130, quite commonly selling for $120. Uh, that's used, that's used. $100, meh. I'm going to call it $120, I think is average. I know I've seen a bunch of these in our last video selling for like $130. So nice little price increase. I think this is a fantastic set for the Jurassic World. It's a great display piece and overall a really good one. I I would assume this does very well in the next coming months. Uh, we also have a very cheaper Lego set that I thought would be interesting to take part in looking at. It's the Fast and Furious 1970s Dot Charger. This one was quite commonly um, during the Black Friday Cyber Monday Saga. It was around for like 10 to 12 bucks, which is crazy. Uh, and it's going for around $25, I would say, is the average price selling point. So very good. We've seen some going for $35. We've seen some going for $30. Uh, it, this is a great investment piece. Being Fast and the Furious, I think these were phenomenal pieces to invest in. Uh, I wish I got more of these. And I, of course, I only have one for my personal collection. But regardless, still a great set. I'm going to focus on the uh, Too Fast, Too Furious uh, Skyline next year when that one does retire. Uh, and then the last set we'll take a quick look at is uh, one I was very, very adamant about. I think this is a great set. It's the Lego Haunted House 10273 from, I believe it's Creator Expert. It's not Icons. It's Creator Expert, I think, still back then. Uh, regardless, I love this set and uh, really happy to have one in my collection built. And uh, I think this is just going to be a sleeper set going into the next few years. It's just, I think it's an amazing Lego set. Uh, but anyways, this used to retail for $250. It got price jacked to $300 in those dark days. And is commonly seeing over 300, what, 350, I would say, average, 370, 500, holy cow, 316, 250, I think that's used though. Um, yeah, so anyways, 350, I, I would say is a very solid price point for this one. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if this thing goes 450 here in the next few months, just because uh, as October rolls around, this set is going to be only more sought after just because it's a themed uh, kind of set. So anyways, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoy those sets. Of course, let me know what other LEGO sets you want me to take a look as for investments as our recap for two months will be coming just around the corner. And anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I really enjoy these videos. If you're new here, we like to do these videos as well as talk about LEGO sets to invest in. So if that interests you, kindly ask you to hit that subscribe button. We are going to hit 100,000 subscribers with your help. So let's do it. Love you guys. Thanks so much. Peace out.